Hey, this is the Big JB. Friday morning, I'm recording at a stoplight because I'm not going to have time to sit in my car and record in the garage today. I have a meeting um, first thing in the morning. I actually need to get into the office. I'm only about, uh, I'm probably less than 10 minutes away. But I have an hour before my first meeting, and I am completely unprepared, and I'm supposed to have slides ready. So um, I need to record this because I want to be faithful to this, but I'm not going to have it up until probably noon. So uh, it'll become um, what I like to refer to as the afternoon delight <laughs> instead of the morning thunder. Um, so the video may break into different parts depending on how many stoplights I hit. As right now, I'm pulling away. And the last time I did this, the video was too shaky. So um, I will, uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, well, I managed to make it to another stop. Um, today I'm having lunch with my dad, which I'm looking forward to. Um, we're going to talk about, well, I don't know, life in general probably. He's decided to take up a, uh, a legal battle, um, which uh, I thought that he had set aside a while ago. And um, I'm actually glad that he's doing it because um, essentially he's fighting for the truth, uh, for something that happened uh, a while ago. So I'm not going to get into the details um, just because I respect his privacy, um, but I also know that um, that he has a, a wife. He got remarried, and um, he has a wife that supports him and is a great helper to him, um, and that's awesome. And I trust that they're going to uh, they're going to work together, even if it doesn't turn out the way he wants. Um, it's a good thing. Okay, well now I'm in the garage, uh, <laughs> so this will be an interesting video to put together today. Um, so uh, I talked about my dad. Um, I am still reading that book, Wild at Heart. I've talked about it almost every day this week, and um, it's it's really good. I'm still really enjoying it. I find one of the most disappointing things. It's it's true, you know what he says in the book, but I find it disappointing about my gender in general is that um, because of the, I'm just gonna use the word that he uses, because of the wounds that we suffer as men growing up, um, we tend to have this distorted reality of how we're supposed to behave as adults. Um, if we, it's it's weird to find out what happens and, and the things that happen, those wounds that we suffer when we're, when we're kids, whether it comes at the hands of a father, a mother, a brother, somebody else, a bully, um, our society doesn't do a good job of teaching young boys how to be men and how to deal with, you know, the wounds that they suffer. For example, um, with a bully. I think that boys should be encouraged to deal with the bully and not stand by and let it happen. But so often in our schools, we want the kids to be polite and make sure that they don't get in a fight. You know, there was one time when my son was... He might have been five or six years old, and there was some other kid. Uh, we were at the that was at the church. We were at an, an event, uh, at an event, and this kid, somebody else's kid, pushed my son down. And of course, I got pissed, and I wanted to intervene, but I decided to empower my son. And I said, Kai, Kai, if he does it again, what I want you to do is shove him as hard as you can. Of course, my wife hated the idea, and some of the other moms were like, that's not the way to solve it. And I'm like, yeah, it is. That's the way to solve it for my son. He's, he needs to learn how to stand up for himself. And I told, him my, I told my son that if, the, that if that other kid's mom got upset, or if the dad got upset at what happened, that I would completely stand up for him. And I would totally back him up in that. My son needed to know that he was strong, that he was powerful, and that he could defend himself. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. I don't think violence is the solution to every problem. But I think that at a certain age, especially when you're younger and the bully is less likely to like pull a gun on you or a knife or whatever, um, that empowering your kids to stand up for themselves is not a, is not a bad thing. Um, I was strategic in it. You know, obviously I didn't tell him that when he was in high school. He's not even in high school yet. But I think, I think you get the point. So, as I mentioned, I need to get inside, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Everybody have an awesome day. Have a great weekend. Uh, my wife's going to be out of town this weekend, and so I am going to be holding down the fort. So, I'm going to be trying to find stuff to do with my kids, and we might just go to the zoo, even though it's supposed to rain this weekend. Uh, that'll be a fun adventure. So, 
That's it for today. Have a great weekend, everybody. This has been The Big JB. You can find me on Twitter, at Voice of the Big JB. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please let people know about this video. Thanks very much. Bye.